Look at these guys, they're working on the carts. Awesome! Uh, they got the carts hey, going! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, 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 buddy, buddy, dude, buddy. To hear them running? God, they sound mean. Buddy! Dave! <laughs> What's Dave, up? You What's are the magic man. What's going the magic on, man? man. Give me enough time, I'll get it going. Oh well, it's been, look. When I bought these go-karts out of Ohio a few years ago, I had big plans for them, man. I had big dreams, <laughs> you know? And then Diamond Dave said, I can fix these. And that was two years ago, two years ago. So it's like, that's been more of a nightmare. I, I mean, I try to make yeah, your why dreams. Are you, why are you not realizing our I dream, I try to make Dave. your dreams come true. Dave, hey, Dave you, you should be you on the scene. You dream maker, you. you know what? what? You dream maker. <laughs> Was this one running too? Oh, heck yeah, that one's running too. Diamond Dave wears a lot of hats around here. Now he can add to his resume the two-stroke tamer. We were just about ready to take him around the block. Before you get arrested, I know a guy in Dixon that has a friend that's kid has a track. Yeah! My cousin's hairdresser's kid owns a track. <laughs> I'll call the guy right now and I'll line it up. I do. Okay, I'm you down. guys, I'm totally down. You guys do your stuff. So, there. what you have to do to this thing, man? Oh, man, everything. Well, like, you want to the motor? This is, yeah. th dude, the motor's completely rebuilt. It's no surprise that it took Dave a year and a half to put these go karts back together. These parts are not stuff that you find sitting on a shelf in a hardware store. The track is closed, which yeah. is perfect for us. Yeah. He said we can run these. It's kind of like an old motorcycle. You don't just go to the Harley dealer and say, hey man, you got a 1936 knuckle top end? These parts yeah. have to be found. You got it? Yeah. yeah. We you can sure? roll it over here. Yeah. Get out of Jersey, what's the matter with you? Everybody's yelling at each other and we haven't got the go-kart in the van yet. <laughs> We're gonna follow you guys in the Impala. All right? That's all right, all right. Sounds good, man. All right, come on, Jersey, let's kick some butt. Dude, Probably losing. You got no losing. Chance, man. <laughs> no chance. Zero. Loser. Zero. Hey. Loser. <laughs> You're done, baby. Sergeant Rockhead, he ain't gonna win, man. He's first off, look at the size of the dude, man. It's just the weight alone, man. It's gonna slow him down. You know, I'm light, slim, and trim. I'm going fast. I'm gonna cut the turns. I'm gonna win this race. My brother's very competitive. I know. My question to you is, yeah. I'm gonna smoke Robbie's ass, dude. <laughs> Robbie ain't nothing, man. All right, yeah. Give me the skinny, I mean, which one's got the better tires? One is laid down, one's standing up. They're, I mean, they're... is the wind gonna cause a problem? <laughs> I mean, I need to know all this. He's my little brother. Yeah, exactly. I, just gotta, I gotta keep that in perspective. Yes. You are so low, wind is not gonna be a problem, but these things are probably scary fast for you. Like, you are gonna, gonna be- Ain't no go-kart gonna scare me. You're gonna be four inches off the ground, and I, you're gonna be going better. 70 miles an hour. Don't let a wolf, dude. He wants he wants me, like subliminally, he wants me to go out there and show him how to drive a go-kart. I think he could He do wants it. that. You are gonna be going Dude, fast. Dude, low into the ground is the key. He wants me to lead him through life. He just forgot that. <laughs> he, he needs, he's gonna be reminded of that today. <laughs> yeah. They're both wicked fast, so it's gonna come down to who's a better driver? You or me? You or Mike? All right, they left the gate open, killer. Cool. Most guys that are into the NASCAR scene right now, they started in the go-karts. All right, don't scratch this one. This is uh, this one's away. mine. Grab yeah, this, this, cool. this one's mine. Hold on, hold on. Jersey, hold on, hold on. freaking mongrel. We're talking about kids that were six, seven, eight, nine, ten years old. All right, how it goes. All right, put it over here. Wow. Man, if you were a kid in the 60s, imagine your dad bringing this Rupp Monza home, going, hey, be careful. It's a lay down luge, man. All right. OK, All right. set her down. OK. <laughs> All right, so it's you and I first up. All right. We're settling the biggest score first, and that is me versus my brother Robbie. I'm more aerodynamic than you. I don't right. care. You're going to lay down on that thing. <laughs> Three laps. OK. Winner take all. All right. All right. Single yeah. elimination. Yeah, exactly. single yeah. elimination. Yeah. Three laps, single elimination. This is like gangs of New York style racing. <laughs> then me and Dave come in. Right. Right? Yeah. Then it's Jersey versus Dave, and then whoever wins those two heats goes at it, bare knuckle style. Let's do it, man. Where's your starter? Right there, it's in the back. Grab, right, grab the starter. When I was a kid and I had a really cool toy that I had gotten for Christmas. Come on, you're losing already, bro. And I had some cousins that were a little rough come over. I hid those toys so they didn't get broken. So after spending a year and a half working on these carts, kind of the first people I want to ride them are not Robbie and Mike Wolf. I'll be going around like this. These guys are as shy as a Sherman tank, and I really wanted these things to run for a while. Ready, Robbie? Yeah, I'm ready. Hang on, bro. Give me a little gas. Come on. 
Something about a two-stroke motor, when you hear that thing start up for the first time, you want to get on it and ride it. This is not your kid's go-kart. This is not the go-kart you find in an amusement park. This is like full-blown professional karting. Get it, Jersey. Shake it back. Hold on, hold on. These things are dangerous. I mean, you hit 6,000 RPMs, it's jerking your head back. I mean, you better hold on to your Robbie and I have been competitive out of the gate, man. I mean, we're obviously fast swimmers, you know? I mean, we're here, right? As I'm watching them tear down the track, I can tell that they don't think there's brakes because they never touch them. And they're trying to kill each other. They're trying to kill the car. Come on, Mike! Oh, no, the corner, the corner! Oh, he's got the inside! Oh, he was ahead. It's only the first lap. I had my maneuver, the high bank, come in, pass on the inside. Bam! They're gonna burn up before we get to drive. I them know, I know. That. That's all right. <laughs> Mike's smoking them though. That's two laps. Right? This yep. third? Yep. Oh my god, Robbie's gonna do it? Oh, Robbie got it! Yeah, oh my god! Awesome, man. Dude! Dude! <laughs> you won, you won, you won! Did I win? I won! Yeah, I won! won. How'd you win? I got the you in the corner! Three left! 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 Mike won on the second lap. Mike thought he won at the second lap. So he's like, or he's celebrating and Robbie passed him. But he had one more lap to go. <laughs> it's like a day-to-day -day treasure hunt. I'm out there looking for rusty gold. I'm looking for the unusual and impossible. It's back roads, it's dumpster diving, it's flea markets, it's people's homes.